It is time though to for this year. I guess we're just about all of us filling out those brackets for March Madness once those two play in games happen tonight, right? Mm -hmm. That includes a couple of Charlotte Hornets who are doing the same thing. Yes, sports director Nick Carboni is covering the tournament and made sure to get some bracket picks from the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while the college kids are here in town, the pros are on the road, so we turn to a pair of Hornets to give us their thoughts on this year's tournament and to pick a bracket. So here is Grant Williams, who played at Tennessee, and Miles Bridges, who played for Michigan State. The Vols and Spartans are both in Charlotte this week, so Williams and Bridges had some advice for the youngsters. Take advantage of the opportunity. You know, it's a, a blessing to play in the tournament. Give it your all. Give it your all because you never know if you'll make it back to that point. Now, these guys are pretty busy. They don't watch every game, but they know the basics. UConn winning for obvious reasons. Right, so we'll definitely go to Houston in the first round against Longwood. I got UNC. And neither guy's picking against his squad yet. Of course, you know, I'm going to go with Michigan State, you know, got to go with my guys. And then Tennessee, of course, being St. Peter's. Some safe bets, but now they're ready to pick a few bracket busters. I actually have Samford beating Kansas. Mm. Drake good? I, I, I feel great. <laughs> you feel Drake? I, I think Drake's really good. All right, I'm, I'm, I got to trust G on that. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Drake over Washington State. I have Vermont over Duke. I think NC State wins one more game against Texas Tech. I believe in DJ Burns. And how about a Sweet 16 Cinderella? I got Vermont over Wisconsin. Catamounts are going to Sweet 16 in my opinion. Of course, that means somebody else's dance will end, a feeling that these guys know. It matches the heartbreak. Let's just say that. Those are the things you remember. And Bridges and Williams stayed true to their teams through the round of eight. Putting the Spartans in Phoenix. The pair ultimately lands on a final four of UConn, Michigan State, Houston, and Tennessee, surely setting up a championship between their teams, right? Are you putting the Vols in the final in Phoenix? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing that as reverse psychology, so they prove me wrong, hopefully. So it's a Houston-Michigan State final. I think Houston, this is Kelvin's first national championship. Plus we got the experience of, of, of winning, winning two already. So I think we get our third one this year. And there's only one way to settle this stalemate. <laughs> Come on. Houston over to Michigan State. Okay, if we run into any Tennessee Vols, we'll ask them how they feel about Grant Williams' reverse psychology approach to the bracket. More tournament coverage coming up at six. At Spectrum Center, Nick Carboni for WCNC Charlotte.